Missouri robber? Um, New Jersey. What in tarnation is that noise? That's the road up above us. We're going on a train ride. Life is good. I'm going to the Big Apple. <laughs> Guys, looks like we're going on the train. Yeah. <clears throat> That'll be fun. Life is good. I'll tell you, I, my elf powers, I'll just fly up there. Hey, eat you. I think this is such a great idea. This place smells like urine. Well, I'll tell you, this, this trip with Egypt and Rob has got us on is something else, huh? Yeah. It's a lot of fun, but I really wonder what we're going to do next. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of missing home. I miss my kids and my fish. There you go. So I know what we're doing next, guys. What's that, Robba? We're going to eat Italian food in Little Italy. And we're going down to the port area Ooh. so I can see the M uh, Statue of Liberty, maybe. And then we're going to Central Park, and we're, but we're going to eat Italian food today. Woo! Yeah, that's awesome. Love that. That'd be great. Life is good. Okay, so this train is how late now? Ten minutes. Ten minutes late. Welcome to welcome to on grid living. <laughs> There's so much pizza in there. <laughs> St. Paul's Chapel. I think Robert. Uh, I don't want to go in and we can go in it. Okay, we're at Broadway and Fulton Streets in Manhattan. There's the Freedom Tower. Man. That'd be St. Paul. St. <laughs> Paul's Chapel built 1766. It's the oldest continuously used building in Manhattan. Wow. It says on the side right there. I didn't know that. I love the construction. It's cool. A heck of a graveyard in front of it. And these old trees. Wow. Well, something else. Yeah. yeah, you can say if you're not. The oldest familiar, burial in here is when? 1704. And if you're not familiar with the location, the World Trade Center buildings were right there. Right there, and there's Freedom Tower. So I can imagine this place would have been just covered with all of the debris and stuff. Yep. This is Wall Street in New York City. Broadway is right behind us. That's Broadway up there underneath all this construction. <laughs> that's the New York Stock Exchange right there. New York Stock Exchange building is right there, but that's not the front. The front is around the corner up there. This looks like on, on your left up here, you'll see that statue of George Washington. That's the federal building. Oh, that's the famous building. That was on that, not the same building, but on that spot, there was a there was a building that uh, where George Walla, uh, George Washington took the uh, original oath of office as first president, and this was the nation's first capital, and it was all right here. But this is Wall Street. Wall Street's named because there was a wall. When this is New Amsterdam, there was a wall that stretched from shore to shore. Uh, across the tip of the island here where there was a wall so for protection for protection from the Lenape Indians I guess or, or maybe the English <laughs>
gonna get out my watercolors. Yes, yes. Farmer G. 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 <laughs> <laughs> these mark where the original wall was. Stock exchange robber. Yes. All these old buildings. Yeah, most of these are newer, but I'll take you down where there's some older ones. Will you take me down into the sewer? I'll take you down to Lower Manhattan. Okay, this is what it remains of the original New York, New Amsterdam, Dutch area. So this is Stat Weiss State House. I don't know how to say it, but it was built in 1641 as a tavern over there. And that little round area is the well. Can you see it? Over there? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the original well. After they kind of finished up with it, they just put stuff in it. And there's the foundation of the tavern over here. And that little back inside back in, yeah back yeah. inside there you can see the, just a little bit of a foundation and then as you look this way here at Pearl Street in uh, Coentes. Coentes this is actually where the uh, dock the boat dock the pier or whatever was located and that's the boats would come up there more in there and get their ship the get the stuff off of them yeah they would literally pull up right here and their prows would be sticking out over the land right here and, and the buildings on either side most of this area most of this area has been filled in and uh, dirt put in and people have built on dirt and a lot of this stuff wasn't even here if you're going to go to battery park and that area basically was watered there too and all of that down on that end has all been filled in over the years and built upon to build up Manhattan Island and stuff like that. But this is like one of the original, like the location where New York began. Yep. Francis Tavern um, was a place where George Washington released the troops and different it's, things like And that's that. right behind us here on Pearl Street in this block right here. So, so as each chip said before we came down here, most of the historical stuff Historical sites are long gone over the years, but it's still an interesting place. Federal Hall, different places like that that go back to George Washington and, and those times. Yeah. But pretty cool. Yeah, but Pearl Street right here, coming down along here, this was the original shoreline in 1641. And the Stathuis State House, Dutch State House, was actually right on the shore. And uh, so you can imagine the waterfront right here. Um, and even back at that time, there were no docks or anything. These Coentes docks and things like that were a later um, thing. Sorry, I thought docks were here. They just pulled up. I think the docks were further down that way toward where the Staten Island Ferry is now. But this was just like a shoreline. And you could just see the bay from here huh. out. But I mean, now it's, you know, it's several blocks, uh, maybe a quarter mile. To the Staten Island Ferry. So you can see how much it's been filled in. I think that this was the, the uh, shoreline at one time, something else. But yeah, New York does not have a uh, good record of preserving its its history, at least here in in New York and New Amsterdam, and uh, Manhattan and New Amsterdam. So. This is 
Bowling Green, which is the original common area to New York. New Amsterdam. New Amsterdam. Um, behind us is the Custom House. Over there is the Cunard Line. With, and then right past this is that Merrill Lynch bull that everybody seems to think is some magical thing. I think more people are here at this than at Times Square. I'm kidding about that, but the number of people here at this place is really kind of astonishing to me because it has no true historical significance other than people have seen it on movies and stuff like that. But anyway, this is the original common area back in the day. Now it's a park. The fence around here dates to the 1700s. This is the original fencing for some of the area. I don't know if this is the original area for it, but yeah, I think this is the original area for Bowling Green. The fence is the original fence that was here. Um, but anyway, nice little bit of history here. And the Custom House. Custom Houses were super important back in the day up around here. Um, when you go all up in New England, they have them in different places. Uh, they have one in somewhere up in Boston, I think, or Maine, wherever I was. But that was, mm. Custom Houses are kind of cool. Tariff. Yeah. Collect Get the tariff. Money, money, money. Thanks to Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> It was on, I think it was right here on this spot where the fountain is, where there used to be a statue of King George. And right after the declaration, there was a there was a, a crowd gathered here after the signing of the Declaration of Independence, where they all got together and pulled down the statue of King George and they, I don't know what they did, but they probably melted it down to make bullets or something, who knows. But um, <clears throat> a lot of history happened right here. This is the original common area dating back to Dutch times. And it's still here. Right along this area, this area right along here, used to be real high-end homes and mansions. And, uh, you know, it was the, I guess, the city elite way back in the day, you know, the 17, 16, 1700s, be able to step out here onto their park. You know, it was almost like their own little, it was a public park, but it was almost like their own private sanctuary. And of course, it, that street over there is Broadway. There's 11 Broadway. Right there, I saw a sign earlier that said one Broadway. Right. So here is the beginning of the famous Broadway of yep. New York City. That's right. That's and Broadway that goes up that way. Starts here on the lower end, close to the water, runs to the north. And Egypt said it's like one of the only streets that hasn't been messed with since the colonial times. When New York was replatted in the mid 1800s to give streets and avenues, there were just a bunch of, you know, like country lanes and country roads that went up Manhattan into the different areas, Harlem, Stuyvesant, those areas. And now uh, it's, all, it's all gridded, streets and avenues. They were all covered over except for one road. And that was Broadway which is an original Lenape Indian trail that began down here at the tip of the island and went all the way up to the other end of the island, 10 miles or 15 miles away, something like that. And outside this park, there are some cobblestones or bricks. I am assuming are part of the one of the early roads through here, maybe. Well, liberty, 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 liberty. Yeah, this is a chant I can get into. Liberty, 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 liberty. <laughs> Brooklyn Bridge. What do you think, Robert? Yeah, look at how many people are up there trying to walk across it. Yeah, they're walking it. I think, <laughs> looks like a lot of them went up there. Just part of the way to get some pictures, they're probably gonna head back. It's probably a mile. Join the view. Join your night? Yes. I 
think I like <clears throat> this the most as far as the neighborhoods we've been to. Little Italy? Yeah, they really talk about it being a big time tourist trap. It is, but I mean, look at this. There's no traffic. They've closed the streets. Nobody's driving through here. And everybody's dining on the sidewalk. It's really cool. I like it. Is that the Empire State Building at the end of the road? That is, but it's quite a way away. I know, but it looks kind of like it does at the end of the road. It's like a couple miles away. <laughs> but good oh, size. Cool. Yeah. yeah it's, a, it's kind of stormy out. There's, there's a some, lightning. Lightning, yeah. and it's cooled down. Okay, we're at 34th and 6th Avenue, Herald Square, and there's the square. Squares form when Broadway crosses 6th Avenue and 34th here and forms like a little triangle. The Empire State Building, Robert. It's right there. Yeah, right there. There's a parking garage you don't see every day. Uh, there you go, Robert. Hey, look, look. Riding in style on a bike shawl. <clears throat> what do you think? This is pretty fun. You fun? Yeah. I hope this guy's got strong legs. He's <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> just tired. <laughs> Rockefeller Plaza, uh, again. Here's the FAO Schwartz. I think that's where they put the Christmas tree somewhere. FAO Schwartz. FAO NBC. Schwartz. NBC News. Look at the tall building right there. Yeah. That's Rockefeller. You can go up Center. there to the top, but I changed my mind. I didn't want to go. Why'd you change your mind? Because I'm going to Central Park instead. Okay. Yeah, you got to, one thing about this place, you got to budget your time. I know. <clears throat> there's just so much to see. But we've really seen some good things. That church was really super cool. St. Patrick's, yeah. yeah. FAO Schwartz Toy Store, NBC Studios. I can't. Tavern on the greens on the other side, yeah. Okay. Look at here. Central Central Park East. Farmer G. For about the 87th time, because each of quits poodles. Each of keeps forgetting to hit start. <laughs> So everyone, this is Times Square. If you've never been here, you ain't missing nothing, really. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's really just a bunch of lights and people. Yeah, so the very first thing we saw when we got here was some naked cowboy dude, and everybody was like, 
following them around trying to get their picture or video with them. Evidently, some guy playing the guitar in his underwear and boots is a big thing. Of course, I had no idea that was a thing. Egypt said he's been around since like 1909 or something like that, running around Times Square, turning everybody on to his, you know, I don't know what, but anyway. Look at this. That's quite a jumbotron there. So, I guess there are so many things that are things when you come to New York City. Times Square is a thing. The Merrill Lynch bull with the is a thing. Um, I don't know what else is a thing. We didn't go to a lot of the things because we're not into the things. But anyway, we are here at the thing to do. Don't ever come to New York without coming to Times Square. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, you have to, we have to be considerate of our traveling companions. They wanted to come down and check it out, uh, so. Please forgive me, guys. I sucked it up for the team. I took one for the team to come down here to this busy, busy place. Guys wanted to come to Times Square, so we'll do it. <laughs> 50, 70,000 people here, something like that. It's kind of crazy. And there's really, the thing about it is, there's really nothing, nothing. here. <laughs> Not really, well, I mean. All there are are, are are these jumbotrons, you know, it's lit up, and there are just people mulling around with their cameras and phones out like us, doing nothing. <laughs> A few street performers. Yeah. There are a lot of people here. And so here we are. Yes. We're joiners just like everyone else. Now we're here for our traveling companion. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I'll tell you what, this is incredible. Yeah, well. And not bad, but I'd rather be back in Arizona with my snakes. Yeah. I know what you mean, guys. Yeah. I'm kind of starting to miss home, too. But I'm a little worried about something, too. Yeah. What's that? Well, I'm a little worried about things back home. Rick, you and I are going to have to talk. Oh, is that so, is it? Yeah, well, maybe we do. We're gonna have a little something, you know, pow wow or something. Yeah, you're right, Rick. I, I think it was wrong. What about? Well, I did trespass on your land. And, well, I'm sorry. Put it there, man. All right, the other hand, other hand. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. We're good. We're good. I'm good. Yeah. Nope. Boom. Nope. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys patched it up. Well, I tell you, it was starting to get a little sketchy there, you know? Well, out Lord, you just, you know, when you're growing your own food, somebody trespasses out there, why well, you, you just gotta, you gotta mind it, you know? You just have to mind it. Well, I know what you mean. I'm still glad you guys patched it up. Hey, you know, guys, since we patched things up, let's say we go have some fun, huh? It's New York. It's Times Square. Let's have fun. Ooh, yeah. Let's live it up. Let's live it up. All right. Farmer G is Bumblebee. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Farmer G is all about liberty, 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 liberty. Yeah, yeah. NYPD! I hope you're
you're not too disappointed. Harry Potter is as close to Lord of the Rings as we could find here in Times Square. I hope you're okay with that. I love it. I love it. It's awesome. Oh, this is awesome. Let's go see it, Robert. Let's go see it. Okay. Aquaponics for all. Yeah. And free spaghetti gourds and snakes. Yeah, and free watercolors for everybody. Yeah. USA. 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 USA.